Good morning, everybody. My name is Daniel Pello coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. Starting out this Saturday morning with a scripture reading from Mark chapter 6, verse 1 through 13. He left that place and came to his hometown. His disciples followed him. On the Sabbath, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were astounded. They said, Where did this man get all this? What is this wisdom that has been given to him? What deeds of power are being done by his hands? Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, and brother James, and, and Joseph, and Judas, and Simon, and are not his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. Then Jesus said to them, Prophets are not without honor, except in their hometown, and among their own kin, and in their own house. And he could not, and he could do no deed of power there, except that he lay his hands on a few sick people and cured them, and he was amazed at their unbelief. Then he went about among the villages teaching. He called the twelve and began to send them out two by two, and gave them authority over the unclean spirits. He ordered them to take nothing for their journey except a staff, no bread, no bag, no money in their belts, but to wear sandals and not to put on two tunics. He said to them, Wherever you enter a house, stay there until you leave the place. If any place will not welcome you and they refuse to hear you as you leave, shake off the dust that is on your feet as a testimony against them. So they went out and proclaimed that all should repent. They cast out many demons and anointed with oil many who were sick and cured them. And that is our scripture reading this morning. Please join me for a time together now in prayer. Let us now pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, for those of us who come here this Saturday morning feeling broken, bring restoration. For those of us who come here feeling weak, bring strength. For those who come here weeping, bring joy. For those of us who come here with doubts, bring faith. For those who are not a part of this right now, bring all those other children in this world, you've created what they need to find a grasping on their lives as well and to take a better lead into their goals and days ahead. Please be with all of our church family as we come to an end of this week near now. And let us be thankful for those who help and support us every day, for our friends, family, church family, as well as ultimately your son, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you all for joining me here this morning. Hope to see you here tomorrow morning as well. I hope you all have a good Saturday today.